Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay, so in this video, let's take a look at another well known symbol, which is symbol that's suspicious. This is also new to me. Let's just uh, jump straight to the uh, demo. Okay. Uh, suppose we have extended the native uh, class like promise. We have a new promise called my promise. Extend promise, but we don't add anything new. We just use the extend keyword. Okay, now let's create a new uh, promise. Also, this does nothing. Okay, A is supposed to be instance of uh, my promise, right? Also, he is instance of promise. Yeah, A's constructor is actually my promise. Yeah, cool. So, now here's the uh, next step. We know that there is a then method on promise, right? So B, A, then, we do nothing. So B is a promise now. So should which promise? Should it be based on the my promise or promise? Let's take a look. Constructor, we see that B is actually my promise. It means actually in JavaScript, the promise then method on the prototype actually will use the this target, uh, the constructor on this target, which is my promise to create the new promise. So this is the default behavior. Of course, we could uh, modify uh, the then, overwrite the then method in my, on our own my promise class, right? But there's another way. There is another way by setting the symbol species on the constructor function. Let's take a look. So my promise, this is the constructor function, uh, symbol dot species. If we set to promise, uh, let's take a look. Oh, we cannot set the set it directly with this uh, dot notation. We sh for things like this, we need to, it should be something on the property descriptor. So we use object define property to do the overwrite. Okay. Let's create object define property, which is on my promise. And the name is symbol dot species. The value is promise. Okay. Yeah. Now, if we get the species, we see that it's promise now. Okay, now we do the then again to see what it is. Const c equals then c. Now c is promise actually. Oh, no, we should check the constructor. C, the constructor is promise now. Before b is, uh, b is what? b is uh, my promise. Yeah, now after we're changing the species, on the uh, uh, constructor, then returns and the uh, constructor we set, which is the here, which is promise now. So the species will uh, help help us, maybe enables us to uh, modify the default constructor for the future uh, instances, which will which which is created by uh, the prototype method, right? This is the example on the promise. Also, we have an example on the array, which is on the MDM. Uh, if we create a array, like my array, extends array, again, we do nothing. We have a new array, new my array. Yeah, array, obviously, it's my array. Now, there are a lot of methods on the array prototype. If we say concatenation one, it actually used in my array, which is the constructor of this ARR to create this new array. Again, we could add up, we could use object define property to to set the my my array suspicious use array to change it my array. Symbol dot species. Yeah, it's array now. 
Now, if we call concatena concatenation with one again, you see that it's no more array. So yeah, there are some other types which will respect to the uh, species symbol. Yep, just to please search on the spec. And uh, this, anyway, for this video, I've shown how symbol species works for us. Yeah, pretty interesting, huh? Okay, that's all for this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.